we had a good startup yesterday. Today we had a few glitches to solve. We've worked on it. Uh, Scott Clark here of Real Tuners uh, has been here for two days now and we're turning this thing into a faster race car. Now, Scott, we went 503 miles an hour in 2018 and we had a different engine. We had a 712 and today we've got also water injection. Uh, the engine now is a 714A and it produces a lot more horsepower but at Bonneville you need it because of the altitude and the heat. So what have we done differently Scott? Uh, well, just add power to this thing. So since uh, 2018 uh, the major changes would be um, it's called a FADEC which stands for Full Authority Digital Engine Control. Uh, that's what the aircraft guys call it, but it, it's an ECU or an engine computer. Um, we, we completely revamped that system. We simplified it significantly, and then we optimized it for throttle response and performance. Um, it's a much, much simpler system that's more oriented towards motorsports than the previous system they were using. Um, and what it will allow is the driver to uh, more carefully feather the throttle. For example, if he has to get out of it a little bit from tires spinning around three or 400 miles an hour, uh, he can roll back into the throttle and have that modulatable, drivable power. Um, and that proved to work really well for him uh, in the test we did last year at World Finals. Um, other changes, water methanol, or water injection. Water injection, let's yeah. go up here and take a look at yeah, it. Talk about this a little bit, Rick knows most about this. Yeah, this system, this system we got 2,700 pounds of air pressure in these two bottles, and there's three gallons of water uh, in this tank now. now at the world finals last year, we got top time of the meet at 420, and that was in the third mile. We, uh, we came out of that third mile at 457 miles an hour, and uh, gives us two full miles to get up to 500. So we increased our speed by 20 miles per hour at every timing light up to and including the third mile. So we're real happy with the acceleration. We're adding an extra of a gallon of water here so we can turn it on earlier. Everything worked on that test run last year at the World Finals, so uh, we're just tightening up things and making sure all the data is correct and we're going to be good to go. So when we approach our power limits on the engine, when we're really making the most power, um, the water injection reduces our exhaust gas temperatures, which are one of our limiting factors. We have a couple of limits we might run into. Engine RPM overspeed, for example, um, or exhaust gas temperatures exceeded the maximum for a certain amount of time. This here gets rid of the worry about the EGTs. It knocked apparently maybe 300 degrees Fahrenheit out of, out of our uh, exhaust gas temperatures, which was enough now that our concern is um, what they call the N1 or, or the uh, combustion area of the engine, it's, it's crankshaft RPM limit. Um, so we're already, to do last year's numbers, we ran 110%, you know, 10% over the recommended max continuous, but obviously we're only doing this for 50 seconds. Um, this year, we'll probably have to put another five to seven percent on top of that. To, to, so, to, how much horsepower, Scott, are we going to end up with? Well, so we there's been a lot of talk about horsepower, but, but I mean over uh, and above, oh, not maximum, but over yeah. and above what we used in uh, it, in 2018 will be between 450 and 600 horsepower at the shaft extra, depending on the weather conditions. Yeah. Yeah. Is how much extra we'll have. Um, that's the tune-up we've put in it for. So that'll be this over year. and above last year's. Mm -hmm. uh, 420 test run. Mm -hmm. yeah. Provided we can put that power to the ground. Yeah, um, we got, that's look gonna... here, we got brand yes. new Goodyear tires. Look at these. These things are absolutely phenomenal. They took maximum weight per wheel was somewhere between a half and one ounce. So that's like Perfect crazy. Balance. Previously, we had one tire that always up in the three and a half ounce area and that's not good so we're real excited these run at 70 pounds of pressure which will give us a little more footprint a little easier ride and uh, it should really hook up a lot better so overall we got a good plan going here which is always the case a good plan that sometimes goes awry but <laughs> for those asking about horsepower if you uh, hook this up to a an engine dyno a shaft horsepower sae horsepower measuring engine dyno um, this year we will be somewhere around uh, 4800 shaft horsepower real numbers